Hey, I'm Tamika Lee, and I am here at the New Dixie Brewery right here in New Orleans East. This place is beautiful and fantastic. I cannot wait to show you around the entire area. But first, I have some special friends I want you to meet. Hey, guys. <laughs> We got Stench here, we got Roman Harper, Garrett Hartley, of course, Ja. Yes. Ja Harry Evans. Thank you guys for coming here. Look, how long, when's the last time you guys have all been together? The Super Bowl 2019, it's been a while. Do you have y'all done this before? Yeah, all of us uh, together. I've probably been since the ring ceremony. Yeah, since the ring ceremony, maybe. Yeah, a few games here and there. A few yeah, games. but like all of you guys together has been 10 years. Here, That's right, yeah. Making history in New Orleans. All right, well, before I ask you about your big moment, I have some beers I want to give you guys. We are at Dixie Beer Brewery. You don't have trouble saying that sometimes. Hey, perfect. Maybe, uh, dude, hey, it's been a while. It's uh, bringing it, bring it all back. I feel like I'm part of this on some level as well. <laughs> Game winning moments and kicks. You had the biggest one of, you know, ever that take us back to the moment right before and then the moment right after, NFC Championship game. The ball came off my foot, and it was just that, that second, I didn't even have to watch the ball get to the uprights. Yeah. I turned around to, uh, you know, Mark Brunel that was holding, and I said, we're going to Miami. And then after that, I kind of fell, I was on the bottom of the pile, I'm not quite <laughs> sure. But... Everyone jumped to the top of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a big pile, but uh, that was uh, crazy, crazy times to set up for, you know, the next event with us going to Miami. All right, guys, speaking of big plays, Roman, apparently you had something to do with that or were supposed to have something to do with that big onside kick the, known as the ambush in the Super Bowl game. This play we had found out all throughout the year. We practiced it all year long. We, we never thought we'd ever run it. Like okay. nobody ever calls onside kicks, really. Um, but Thomas Morstead had this weird way. He, we didn't know nobody had ever been able to do it. He could hit the ball and it would go like left and it would come backwards. So I was the safety, so the ball was supposed to come to me. And uh, we had practiced it all year long. I was to recover it. Chris Reese was like kind of behind, just as like if a safety, but, and everybody was supposed to block. And, and the ball never got to me. Chris Reese covered it up. It's and the I, best ball that didn't come to you ever. Ever. I'm actually kind of happy because what if I drop it, right? <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> what if I drop <laughs> it? Too? 10 years later, and Drew is still playing at such a unique level. Job and Stitch, tell me about that. Are you surprised? Anybody who's ever played with him can understand why he's still playing. I mean, his approach to the game, the amount of time and effort he puts into playing at an elite level, I mean, it, yeah, you expect him to play till he's 60, just because the guy, I mean, everything he does is focused on, you know, the team and making himself prepared 365 days of the year. Yeah, no, he prepares uh, to the best of them, and uh, he wins the games before he played the game. So okay. that's why he's, you know, still out there slinging it. Knowing Tom Benson and just how he was, because he loved the Saints and he loved Dixie Beer, he's brought it back, all of the history with it. You know, are you guys surprised about that, that he would bring such an iconic staple back to the city? No, it's um, what he was about. And, uh, you know, from a, a businessman, obviously, to just such a loyal uh, owner, you know, involving a, a beer, such as Dixie to bring that back. He was so passionate about making things and turning them around and making them great products. This has always been a great product. It just needed a little reintroduction into New Orleans. And this is what we've done here. Uh, this place opens January, 2020. So we are just shy of, you know, opening it to the public. And you guys are the first. We're getting the sneak peek, huh? Sneak peek sneak behind peek. the scenes right. of this place. <laughs> Yeah. 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 